What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Clearly this is a different video than what I usually do on this channel for two reasons. Uh, a, you see my face, and B, you don't see Xcode. So uh, I'm super thrilled to finally get the chance to make this video. This has been many months in the making, and as you know by the title, it is the announcement of the first premium course for iOS Academy, how to build TikTok. So in this video, I wanted to, of course, say that, uh, as well as go over some of the housekeeping and logistic things. So we're gonna be answering uh, some of the questions uh, that I'm sure most of you have is A, uh, what's included? What's not included? Who's it for? How much is it? So that said, make sure you destroy the like button. Uh, if not for the video, destroy it for me uh, having my face on this video and not my desktop. Uh, helps out the channel, as you know, I say in every video, helps us grow together. And uh, let's get into it. So what will we be building? So we're gonna be building TikTok. Um, we're gonna be building it with the latest version of Swift and Xcode, which uh, as of the recording of this video, that's Swift 5.3 and Xcode 12.3, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're gonna be building everything with UIKit, so not Swift UI. Uh, so a little bit of context behind why I made that decision. So UIKit is still very, very prominent across uh, you know, all the large scale apps, as well as a lot of the smaller uh, developers. And while SwiftUI is definitely an amazing framework, uh, it's still maturing and growing over time. And uh, you know, chances are the target audience and uh, you know, those of you that wanna learn this stuff might wanna do it professionally. Um, and professionally, while SwiftUI is being uh, experimented with, it's still not uh, you know, the foundation and mainstream. Um, and that's kind of the intuition of why I went with UI Kit because, you know, 99% of my time I also spend building the UI Kit professionally for my own app, so on and so forth. So that's that. Uh, so what are we going to be building? So TikTok, we're going to be setting up all the UI, full programmatic, no storyboards, no nibs, uh, no even main dot storyboard. We're going to be booting into our view controller directly, all in code. We're also going to be setting up a backend. The backend is gonna be set up with Firebase and that's gonna include things like a database, authentication, a storage container where our videos will actually be uploaded, uh, and of course where we can download them to show them back in the user interface, and uh, everything in between basically. So we'll take a look at you know playing the videos, vertical scrolling feed, uh, we'll take a look at building a custom camera, you know, not just using a standard image picker controller, but really building a custom camera um, you know, using uh, AV Foundation, how we can get into the camera module, add a mic, all that stuff that, you know, you really, you know, when you're building an app like TikTok, you really want to do, right? You don't want to use your kind of cookie cutter components from Apple um, since, you know, those are a lot simpler and don't really give you the control and customization to make them your own. So uh, let's see, I mentioned the camera, I mentioned the vertical scrolling feed. We're also going to be building some compositional layouts for collection views. I like the one you see here, which is for the explore slash discover screen. We're also going to be building notifications out with a pull to refresh. We'll build out the profile with this custom header. We'll set up the follow and unfollow system and all that stuff in between. Now, the thing I want to make clear is we're not going to be polishing every single thing. So what do I mean by that? Well, you can imagine this type of app has a ton, a ton of different features. So while we'll take a look at how to build this notification UI, we're not gonna be inserting a notification in the database when a like occurs, for example. We'll talk through how to do that, and we will set up a lot of the database uh, tooling of you know, creating users and you know, posting and uploading videos. But what I really wanna focus and stress in this course is how to do it rather than sitting there and uh, just having you guys you know, follow what I'm typing. Um, of course, you can follow what I'm typing to a degree of what we're doing together, but the point is really for you guys to learn and take away uh, the, the fundamentals and foundations of how to do this stuff yourself. Um, and, I, and I mentioned you know, towards the end of the course that uh, I, I fully encourage all of you, once you get through it, and if you choose to go through it, uh, to expand upon what we've built and uh, really make it your own. And by the end of the course, you should have a strong foundation, uh, foundational understanding of how things are built, how they're organized, and how you can extend them. So cool, so that takes care of what we're gonna be building, what we're not gonna be building. Let's talk about who this is for. So when I started putting this together, a really big uh, goal that I had was to make this 
um, available for beginners all the way up to advanced developers. So let's be a little more specific about that. This course is not for absolute beginners that are new with the Swift programming language. Uh, for example, I'm not going to be going over things like what an optional is, or what a closure is, or the signature for writing a function. The expectation here is that uh, while I will be going over kind of design pattern and why we do certain things, we're not going to go over the bare minimum language features. Um, if there, there might be one or two more new things that you see language feature wise, and uh, you know, I might call them out or you can pause and do a quick Google search. But we really want to focus on what we're building, the architecture, and implementing every single feature case by case. So beginners that are semi-proficient with the language, uh, you don't need to know any design patterns, any networking, or any of that stuff. If you do, great. If you don't, uh, you know, you're not going to be uh, left in the dark with the course. All right, so how much is the course, and uh, when will it be available? So when deciding you know, how much to price this course at, I really wanted to accomplish two things. I wanted it to reflect uh, accurately the value that the course you know, will bring, and I also wanted it to be reasonable enough where you know, everyone that wanted it can have access to it. So I didn't want the price to be a barrier of entry. So uh, that said, let me just <laughs> share the prices. So $70, $69.99 for the pre-sale, which will begin January 4th which uh, is uh, the Monday right after recording this. And as of January 14th, after 10 days, it'll be the regular price of $99.99, so 100 USD. What are you gonna be getting from those uh, prices? So it'll be the same thing. The pre-sale just reflects you know, early students. Um, and you know, you're gonna be getting 50 plus videos. You're gonna be getting uh, access to a Slack channel for life. You're gonna actually be getting access to all of this for life, rather. It's uh, several hours of actual video. You'll get the actual Xcode project that you can download um, and run and play with and modify the code. You can deploy it in a simulator, all that good stuff. And if we do a very basic calculation, that comes out to about a dollar and 40 cents of video. Now, I wanted this to be, like I said, accessible to the majority. And I, you know, I myself, as a lot of you know, uh, I have gone through several YouTube courses and videos, albeit a long time ago, over 10 years ago. And a big reason that uh, you know I fell in love with iOS and learned a lot of things was because I had the opportunity to do so. So for those of you that follow me on uh, YouTube, you know, you'll you'll know that I love putting out content. I really love paying it forward, and you know I will continue to do so. But I think there's also a fair line that needs to be drawn between you know me providing premium content and uh, investing the bandwidth, effort, energy, and time to do so, and really making sure that it is something that provides value. And you know, to keep that going and to sustain it, the you know, relevant price needs to be accounted for to make sure that uh, you know, it accurately reflects the value and it is also accessible for the majority of you. So that's uh, pricing and availability. And uh, you know, that's all I've really got. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. The one other tidbit that I'll drop here is that I have plans to set up an iOS Academy affiliate program. Uh, if you enjoy the way I teach, if you enjoy the content we put out here, um, I want to make sure that those that are interested uh, in you know, referring people or you might be sharing you know, people if you're in a boot camp already, um, I want to make sure that those uh, referrals and things don't go uh, you know, unappreciated. I think they definitely help grow the community and I want to make sure that um, you know, those that are doing that, if you like it or regardless, uh, you know, if you just want to share that you're being, uh, you know, fairly uh, compensated slash like fairly uh, acknowledged is what I'm looking for, for doing those things. So stay tuned for the affiliate program announcement. Uh, that's going to be in a little, a few weeks, a little while, uh, you know, as 2021 kind of gets started and we all get, you know, busy and stuff. Um, but that's it. If you've got any questions, throw a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Uh, hopefully this video uh, of not seeing Xcode wasn't too scary. I'm super excited about this course. I hope you guys are too. Uh, link for the course is in the description. Once again, if you haven't liked, hit that like button, hit subscribe while you're at it if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.